This is a new one about rejection. It's an angry poem. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and although we danced among the squares, Drank to the heresy of the moment you went for that bearded fuck in the corner <laughs> with his contorted cat scratch tongue. It was simple geometry, really, but you couldn't see the dissonance of trying to stick his rectangular retardation into the roundabout mouth of your discontent. I would have murdered venomous insects for you, trotted out lonely kissing llamas down Amsterdam Avenue for your amusement, would have blessed tail feathers of an unfaithful East Texas black crow waiting out a wrongly accused death sentence on the, sh on the dirty end of a crooked political shotgun, but no. It's not enough for you, hon. You were riding the rails of mischievous twilight straight into the nearest moon crater of disingenuous artistic vomit. You could have been a contender. You could have locked up the Belmont stakes. You could have cleaned up all the cumulonimbus clouds from here to Honduras, stuffed them in a big brown paper bag and ate them for breakfast, but no. You went for the chain gang of dirty love in the backwater between Cupid's creepy cousin and Stephen Hawking's black hole nightmare. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Doing kids' parties, are you? <laughs> Sometimes. And I'm not banned from them. Um, and I'd like to say, in response to the earlier poet, uh, Texas is, has uh, killed more people in the death penalty than China each year. China has 1.5 billion people and it's one of the most oppressive regimes in the world. I thought that should be said. Thank you. <clears throat> this, is, this poem is on the back of the poem that I just read, handwritten. It was not planned. It was a matter of chance. But you, 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 you has a way of making these things happen. It's some kind of fucking Kathmandu, Nepali, Himalayan voodoo that, that he, he brings to these, these, these uh, readings whenever he shows up on our side of the pond. <clears throat> Dalagiri. I, I wandered around the Himalayas for three weeks once. <clears throat> I saw you hiking under the Dalagiri Icefall. Elegant German shoulders glistened under the giant Nepali sky. Like rushing water gone frozen, the world around me hesitated a moment. The rooftop of time blew off. The Kaligandaki River roared. Prayer wheels spun under the cherished light of the Himalayan sun. Snow leopard stood silent on the high cliff ledge. I felt the energy of a thousand singing bowls. I was certain our destiny was written on that prayer flag blowing on its rickety stick high atop that holy tower of earth piercing the atmosphere of the Buddha mind. The hanging bridge swayed against the echoes of a lonesome dog's howl ricocheting off the mountain sides of that deepest river valley in the world as I watched the long shadow of you disappear and burn. Whoa.